All right, folks, welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. You can see uh, beautiful scenery. Uh, nice to be in some warm weather. Raptors uh, in a little bit of heat last night, losing in Denver, but hopefully after a day off today, practice tomorrow, uh, shoot around at the arena, they can get it going. They have not beaten the Phoenix Suns since Steve Nash has returned to Phoenix as a free agent. So some would say they're due. Other people say, well, will the streak keep going? <laughs> well, uh, there was a streak that was still going in Denver, so maybe play the odds. And uh, one streak kept going in terms of the 0 for 6 now on the second half of the back to uh, back to back on the on the second half, and 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 what 10 and 0 now for the Denver yeah. Nuggets. So maybe the other streak ends now that you come to Phoenix. But uh, no doubt about it, uh, we enjoy coming here because we talked about it briefly, uh, Jonesy, in that uh, Nuggets game. But it's kind of interesting where radio, where we've been kind of bumped up in 20 of the 30 arenas, 21 of the 30 arenas in the league, in Phoenix because of the legendary Al McCoy. This is the one place where the radio broadcast is actually in the front row, right on the floor, right on top of the action, and the TV guys are actually sitting behind us in the second row, let alone up in the stands where we usually sit. So it's kind of special for us. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, it's neat that they still pay uh, respect to, to Al McCoy the way that they do uh, here in Phoenix and, and give him that kind of clout. That has nothing to do with the game yep. itself, but it's just kind of a little side story to the overall broadcast and just uh, you know the storyline of coming to yeah. Phoenix overall. To talk about the game, the Phoenix Suns are actually on the back-to-back -back playing the L.A. Lakers uh, tonight. Lakers 12-1 and since the All-Star break, playing without... Uh, tonight, tonight, our time. Tonight, our time, Probably yeah. last night by the time you're watching exactly. this. Exactly. <laughs> what time is it? Like 9, 10 o'clock on, uh, on the East Coast right now. But the Suns in the back-to-back, -back, and uh, let's see how the Raptors fare. They're at home, or they're here waiting for Phoenix, who will come home get in here tonight, later on tonight, and then have to deal with the Raptors tomorrow. So it'll be a 10 o'clock, actually at 11 o'clock local shoot around tomorrow for the Raptors. Phoenix has, Arizona has its own time zone. Yeah. They don't follow daylight savings time. So you never so know if it's mountain or Pacific or what it is. Well, when on. we're on daylight savings time, they're three hours behind yeah. us. When we're not, they're two hours behind us. So okay, I don't, I don't even get It's that. three hours behind us right now. I'm lost. I don't follow it. All I know is it's beautiful scenery. It looks great. So. Uh, there are worse places to be, let's just say that. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that, and we'll do another game day vlog on Wednesday, getting you set for the Suns uh, and the Raptors, and then it's off to uh, another city. At least it's not another time zone. San Francisco? We've been doing a lot of that this month. That's different true. Different cities, different time zones. All right, hurry up, shut the camera off. I'm standing amongst a low cactus here, and I'm afraid of snakes. <laughs>